Hey yo, Sonic. What decks do you think are going to be quite good post rotation? Oh. Well, I've got the deck for you then. Right, yeah, so like I said, if you're really scared of a Turnus and Vicar Vault, then I do think Stone Journer uh, could be a really good way to go. Now, you've got, I think there's two ways you could probably play Stone Journer post-rotation. You've got the Greens way, like I'm showing you today. A little bit more rogue. I think the more sort of standard way and the way it's going to be more popular, at least on set launch, is the sort of Rose Sil uh, Silvalian Gym. Now, I've played a whole lot of Rose Silvalian Gym, and uh, towards the start of my testing, I was a lot more higher up than what I am on it now. Um, which is why I haven't really built a greens deck post rotation and the stone journal actually works kind of similarly 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 oh my lord to um how the greens decks go now so let's have a look so we're starting off oh my mouse was in the way the whole time so we're starting off three stone journal v max you know pretty beefy boy 330 hp uh v max pokemon we have two attacks uh, the bottom attack is the one we're going to be attacking with most of the time Three, four, two hundred max rockfall. Very good. One shot to Turnus, one shot to Vicavolt. Very good. And against everything else, is a nice, clean, consistent two shot, which is always fun. And then the other attack, what is it called again? Stone Gift. You can attach one fighting from your hand to one of your Pokemon. If you do, you can heal 120 damage from that Pokemon. So you can use it as a little bit of acceleration to transition from your first uh, Stone Journey to the second. Or, you know, if you've missed some combo pieces, you can just accelerate a little bit of energy that way whilst healing off some damage too. Kind of cool. In combination with Malolana, I have used this a couple times and it does help. Uh, well, I mean, between Malolana and that, you're healing 240 damage, which is like a whole Brave Blade. Pretty nuts. <laughs> We then got four of the Stone Journal. Stone Journal V, basic Pokemon 220 HP. We have two attacks again, Guard Press, which is rather good, little mass fixer. It's one for 40, and then your this Pokemon takes 20 or less damage from attacks on your opponent's next turn. That's pretty cool, little mass fix, a little bit of chips, always fun. Not as relevant when Dancy was in form, because if Dancy rotates, but it's still a nice little bit of damage nonetheless. One energy attack's pretty cool. And then you've got Mega Kick, which does three for 150. Not bad, I mean, that will um, one-shot a Vicavolt. <laughs> Fall short a little bit of a turn as being actually silly, but I think if you're behind on prizes and you uh, got a Dojo up, that would be a one-shot. So yeah, you've got that to fall back on as well. And against Vicavolt, you can really just lean into the Stone Journal V in all honesty. Guard press I means they're literally hitting you for like ne negligible damage. And you can just slowly start building up to Mega Kick and away you go. If you get the VMAX out in that matchup, this is a little bit crazy. So, our Green's engine actually revolves around a 4-3 line of the Magneton, which isn't even in shot. Oh, my Lord. There we go. So, Magneton, stage 1 Pokemon. Really interesting. You can search your deck for free supporter cards. If you do, this Pokemon's knocked out. And this is how we're going to go. So, we're going to grab stuff like Surge, Bosses, Greens, uh, Malolana, Cynthia, Caitlyn, all manner of stuff. We're just going to be able to just grab it, pluck it out of the deck, put ourselves behind on prizes because you do give up a prize and then we can sort of weave in a stamp potentially or we can um which will but the main reason we do it is so we can activate karate belt which means we can get the max rock for going turn two very reliably that's the idea um apart from that magneton's pretty useless <laughs> we have to sort of pop them straight away just otherwise it does turn off our greens but being able to just pluck out surge plus your two supporters that you need for the turn is absolutely crazy it lets you play them obviously and then with cynthia caitlin you can grab back the surge and, just, and, and then late game you can do another one of these magnetons but you can actually ko two of these um and your opponent still has to knock out two v matches it doesn't actually affect the prize trade that much so yeah magnetons pretty nuts and it might be the new face of green decks moving forward like I said, we are a greens deck. I love me a bit of greens, so we play four of them. Now, I'm not going to lie. Marnie looks like it's being played a lot more in post-rotation format, and that really does hurt greens. That being said, you can always leave a Magnemite down potentially, so you can try and evolve it, you know, pop, and then get your supporters back. Granted, you know, just be careful if you do that. But yeah, because you, you can't really leave too many free prizes about, obviously. But um, yeah, greens is cool. Let's just search your deck for any two trainers. So Karate Belt Stadium, you know, um, Energy Spinner, um, another supporter, all this good stuff. Green just lets you just grab them straight out of the deck, and it's one of my favourite style of decks to play. Is Greens 100%. So yeah, we've got four of them. We mentioned Surge a little bit. Now I tried to fit in three, 
really hard to do. So the third one ended up coming out, to be fair, because with Cynthia Caitlin, you, you, you can end up getting it back. So um, Surge is nuts. If you're behind on prizes, you can play three supporters in that turn, um, including that one. So you can basically go Surge, you have to, yeah, Surge has to be your first one, then play two more. So you can go Surge, Greens, um, Bosses, for example, which is actually a combat I've done quite a lot. <laughs> um, or you can go like surge greens find your spinner plus stadium to make sure you get the knockout or you know karate belt uh, greens just lets you find the missing parts of the puzzle that you need surge just lets you do silly stuff <laughs> or you can even start getting like malolana and if you've got switch in hand you can start healing come back in with the same stone journal all that good stuff there are some bonkers stuff you can do and i feel as if this is a very sort of a tame list i think you can take it a lot more crazy and techy but for now i'm trying to keep it nice and simple Mention the boss's orders now. It's really annoying that we can't play custom catches anymore because custom catches would be nuts with greens, obviously. But we can't, so we've got two boss's orders. I don't feel as if you really need three because you can always simply cater it back and you can really be really clinical with them in a deck like this. So I think two is fine. To Cynthia Caitlin, this is just going to let us draw cards. Actually, the only way we can just raw draw cards in the deck. But then what this is really good for is getting back our bosses, potentially. Getting back our surges, which is really cool. And then getting back greens as well. If you want, we want to really be playing... Um, uh, the more often we can get the, the, the Lieutenant Surge combo off, the more silly stuff we can do. So we want to try and do that as much as possible. Cynthia Caitlin lets us draw cards whilst, you know, getting back the major supports that we need. Okay, we then got one Malolana. Like I said, in combination with Stone Gift, you can heal 240. But what this will do most of the time is try and get you out of a two shot into a three shot, which is really cool. You're already pretty tanky, so uh, Marilyn lets us do that. This was a two count for a long time, but then Space, I wanted to fit a couple more consistency cards in, so I had to end up axing one. To, um, and you got Cynthia Caitlin, you can always lean back into that if you need it again. And then we've got Team Yelgrud. Now, we actually do play Crushing Hammers in here as well. You know, Hammers Go Burr, all that good stuff. Uh, I do feel as if it's really strong in a deck like this. Um, so being able to, like, if you like, get a Hammerhead, you can, like, go Surge, Greens, Yell. Like, bish, bash, bosh. <laughs> like, if you want to be really aggressive on energy discard, you can go something like Surge. Uh, let's say you've got one Crushing Hammer in hand, right? You can go, like, Surge, Greens, Hammer, Hammer, play three Hammers, and then finish your turn with a Team Yelgrud. That is something that you can do with this deck. Like I said, the disruption element is super strong. So yeah, Team Yogurt is a pretty nice one-off for sure. Right, let me play for Poker Gear. Where we're a greens deck, we won't be able to, you know, um, but we want, we want to play greens as much as we can, sorry. So four Poker Gear will let us do that. We've got four Quick Ball. Now, this is, a, this is a count where I think four Quick Ball might be a bit of a crutch. You might be able to cut down to three of these because you don't really need to search out basics too often, all right? But for now, I've settled on four. I like being able to just like get the magna magnemite down turn one as much as possible, just so we can you know get the turn two magneton really easily and stuff like this. So four seem to be quite nice. I mentioned this already, but crushing hammer really good in the post rotation format. Crushing hammer guys for sure. So um, and engine is nuts. <laughs> and then when you've got in combination for surge yell uh, grunt package, like I said, um, lets you just take energy off at a ridiculously fast rate. So um, hammers will win games next format so and we've got three karate belts the lifeblood of the deck um and this is you sort of really have to rely on the karate belts in a non-rose version i was tempted to put like one rose in there as a backup to get with surge which is something you can potentially still do for sure what the karate belt will let you do though is let your stone journal do max rock fall for two energy which is nuts you know 200 for two that's a pretty good trade-off one shot eternus one shot vicar vault um that's pretty good, 200 for two. So, Cry Bolt is how we do that. Now, I would really like to put in a, um, a big charm in here. Can't really fit it in, so we have to set up for Cry Bolts. Then we play three Evo Incense. This is just so we can find our Stone Journal VMAX really easily and find our Magneton. Obviously, Greens will let us search the Evolution Incense to grab those anyway. We don't really play enough Pokemon to warrant playing Pokecoms, in my opinion. Feel free to change these out of Pokemon if you like. I just like the simplicity of um, Evolution Incense in here. Oh, got a couple more. I'm winning out of space. <laughs> we are a greens deck, so if we go in second, we can try and pop off our spinner. Um, that's going to basically be our energy for the rest of the game. <laughs> so energy spinner is nice. It also means our greens can actually find us energy if we've missed it. So energy spinner is always good in greens decks. We then also play two switch because at some point in the game, we are going to have to bench a stone journal, probably attach one energy to it. Um, 
obviously at some point and if our opponent you know bosses order tries to stall it we can either switch it back out or we can continue powering that one up so do you know i was tempted by playing one switch trying to be really cheeky with it but you never know switch is just such a good card uh i feel two is fine i'll just pluck it out when you need it as well like there are there will be games where you'll be like oh, i've only had a second switch or you've prized you prized your one switch you're like uh oh now now my opponent can just do whatever they want and i literally had them stuck you know trying to get this stone journal out of the active or whatever so yeah i think two switch is fine and then one stamp one stamp hurts me I would really love to have more than one stamp in a deck like this. If you can find some space for a second stamp, let me know. Because if you can, like, you can sort of do some funky turns, right? So let's say you pop a magnum, uh, Magneton, they go down to five fives. When they eventually knock out that Stone Journal V Mac, they go down to two. You can, like, do another Magneton, go down to one prize, have your next V Max go in, and combine that with a stamp. And now you're saying, right, I've stamped you to one. I've got this big 330 HP V Max Pokemon barreling down on you. Can you deal with it? Um, and that, and if you can sort of pull that situation off, you know, very, very strong position. Um, just make sure you look after your reset stamp to make sure you can pull that off. Now, we don't actually discard cards too often with this deck. The only way we discard cards really is Marilana and Cynthia and Caitlyn. So, I think you can afford to probably look after that stamp. But um, I would still like a second just in case, you know, we prize or whatever. Our staging for the deck is a Martial Arts Dojo really cool now because we're like intentionally putting ourselves back on prizes we should a lot of the time have the extra 40 buff which is really nice that's going to make um that's going to make stone journal one shot stuff like zation which is really cool wouldn't mind a third copy as well but space again um and even if we are not um even if we're ahead on prizes we're still doing an extra 10 so always greensable as well so if you have a little bit of a damage modifier you can always greens that bad boy out Six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, and then we round off the list. Now, where's the best place to put these? With nine energy. Oh dear. Let me. Uh, I'll grab my trusty dice. <laughs> Here we go. So, where's a three? And a six. Now you might think that's on the low side, and I think it is as well. But then again, we've got two energy spinners, so like at any point in the game, an energy spinner in this kind of a deck is as good as energy anyway. Um, and the more energy spinners you have, the more chance you have of getting them out early and just filling your hand up. So there's that. It seems to be a pretty good count. I, find, I rarely find myself missing energy, which is kind of nice. Hey, let me know what you think about Stone Journal V Max Greens. Do you feel as if this could actually be the best way to play, or do you feel as if the Rose esque engine is the best way to play? I will be profiling both, so don't worry. I will be getting onto the Rose version soon. Um, but thanks for watching. If you like the video, hit the subscribe button. If you made it this far, you might as well if you're not already. I've been putting out loads of post-rotation format content, so you might as well stick around. Check the playlist out in the description if you uh, want to see some more. Um, check out my Twitter, Hot Chalk PTCG. I'm trying to get to 400 followers there. That'd be amazing. But um, thank you for watching, though. And I'll see you all next time.